Apostle 14 says, Zainab bought five sacks of carrots for 13,500 shillings. Each sack weighed 90 kilograms. How much should she sell a kilogram of carrot in order to make a profit of 10%? So to solve this question, um, the first thing we need to do is we need to establish since Zainab bought five sacks of carrots for 13,500 shillings. So it says um, five sacks. Five sacks gave 13,500 shillings. Okay, so let's establish what one sack will give. So one sack will give 13,500 divided by five. So 13,500 divided by 5 will give us um, 13, let's do that, um, 5 into 13, so 13 into 5, that's 2, remember 3, 5 into 35 is 7, 0, 0, so this is shillings, okay? And it says each sack, each sack weighs 90 kg, so um, each sack weighs 90 kg so that means 90 kg which is each sack actually cost us um, 2700 shillings so what will one kg because the question says how much should she sell a kilogram so what will what was her cost for one kilogram so this is going to be 2700 divided by 90 and this is going to give us um, Zero cancel zero nine into twenty seven. That this will give us a uh, thirty shillings. So her real cost price is actually thirty shillings. Now, this is where the question lies. How can we? How much should she sell a kilogram of carrot in order to make a profit of ten percent? So all you need to know is this is actually this is um this is her uh cost price so this is our cost price so for how to make a profit so we need to bring in our profit formula so you remember your percentage profit is giving us selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100 over 1 so now remember we we don't know our selling price and that is what we are looking for we already know our cost price to be 30 shillings we know our percentage profit to be 10%. So with that, if we substitute that, we can now look for our selling price. And let's call our selling price, let's call this X. Okay? So percentage profit, which is 10, is equal to X minus our cost price is 30 over 30 times 100 over 1. So this is going to be, um, this is going to be, Zero will cancel zero. So you have 10 is equal to x minus 30 bracket 10 all over 3. So this is over 1. So we're going to cross multiply. This will be 30 will be equal to um, x minus 30 all into 10. So let's expand our bracket. So this is going to be 30 will be 100 times 10 times x will be 10x minus 300. So collecting like terms 30 plus 300 will give us 10x. This will be 330 will give us 10x when you sum it up. So divide both sides by 10. Our x will be 330 divided by 10. Remember our x, we said our x is our selling price from here. We said let's call our x selling price. So this will be 33 shillings. So for her to make a profit of 10%, she has to sell it for 33 shillings. So the correct answer is um, C. Okay, so that will take us to question um, 15. Okay. Question 15 says a businessman saves 900,000 shillings in a fixed deposit account which earned compound interest at a rate of 15% per annum. How much money did he have in the bank at the end of the two years? Now, the first thing you need to realize is it's actually you a question on compound interest and not simple interest. So you need to know that you have to compound the interest. When you get, after solving for the simple interest, you need to add the interest to the capital and use the new capital to solve for the second year. So now to solve this question, we need to get the interest 
for the first year, which is going to be 900, that's PTR over 100, which will be, P is the principal, that's 900,000 times the time, which is one year, times the rate, which is 15, all over um, 100. So double zero, cancel out the double zero. So we'll have um, 9,000 times 15, that's 15 times 9, it's going to give us a 9 times 5 is 45, 5 carry for 9 times 1 is 9 plus 4, that's 13. So we'll have um, the interest to be 135,000. Zero, zero, zero. So we're going to sum 900,000 plus 135,000 zero, zero, zero to get our new capital. So this is going to be 000, zero, zero. Um, we'll have our 5, we'll have our 3, and we'll have 9 plus 1. That's 10. So it's going to be um, this. So this is at end of first year. Okay. So for the second year, this now becomes our new capital. Our interest will be 1035000 times 1 times 15 all over 100. Double zero cancel the double zero. So we have um, 100. 350 multiplied by 15. So 5 times 0 is 0. Um, 5 times 5 is 25. Carry 2. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2. That's 17. 7. Um, carry 1. 5 times 0 is 0. Put your 1 down. 5 times 1 is 5. Okay? So um, this one will now be. 0, 1 times everything will be 5, 3, 0, and 1. So when you sum this up, it's going to give you um, 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 0, 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 will give you 2, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 3 to give you 5, you have 5 coming down and you have 1. So now our interest for the second year, it's going to be our interest is going to be 155250 shillings. So we need to sum it up again. So we're going to sum up 1035000 plus the new interest, which is 155250. Now, this will give us the final answer for what he should have in his account at the end of the second year. So 5 plus 5 will give us on 0 carry 1. That's 4 plus 5. That's 9. And we have 1. And we have one. So when we compare this to our answer, the correct answer here is C. So I'm going to circle my C. Okay. So that will take me to question um, 16, which says, um, what was the product of the median and the mode of the numbers? Okay. Let's read the question from the beginning. It says, the pupil recorded the number of family members of his 10 friends as shown in the table below. What was the product of the median and mode of the numbers of family members now the first thing i would want you to do is to arrange this we need to arrange it now um first of all the slowest number here is three so three comes first and the second three comes okay then um, i think we have one two three then four we have one and we have two so four will come and four will come so do we have five no, we don't have five. Do we have six yet? And we have two six. So we have six and we have six. How many sevens do we have? One, two, three. So we have seven and we have seven and we have seven. Do we have eight? No, we don't have eight. Do we have nine? We have one. Okay. So that's let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's complete. So now, it says, what was the product of the median and the mode? From what we're seeing, our mode, our mode is 7, which is the highest occurring number. Now, our median, so check the middle number. So, counting from here, this is the fifth number. So, counting from here, this is the fifth number. So, our mode, our median lies in between. So, we'll take the average, which is 6 plus 6 over 2, median which will be um, 6 plus 6 over 2, that's 12 over 2, which is 6. So our mode multiplied by median will be um, 7 times 6, and that will give us um, 42. 
So um, 42 is the correct answer. So please, if you've not hit the subscribe button, do hit the subscribe button and stay updated with us as we release more videos.